Have you just received your Fritzbox repeater? Well, in this video, I'll talk you through what steps you need to do to get it up and running and connected to your home network. So we have the Fritz Repeater 3000. So what do we get in the box and how do we connect it to our home network? Well, the first thing we get in the box is booklets and we can pop those to one side. And then we get the physical device itself. It's a fairly small device with protective film on either side. On the front of the device, we can see a Wi-Fi light, connect button, and then a connect light. I'll explain that in just a moment when we plug it in. On the underside of the device, we have the power port as well as your Wi-Fi key. And on the back, we have two LAN ports. Now you will use these if you want to connect your repeater to say a computer, laptop, TV, or other device via an RJ45 or ethernet cable. What else do we get in the box? Well, if we pull out this cardboard insert, we get the power plug pin. We also get, if I can just get it out of there, the power brick itself. Now, just like with the Fritz box, this is simply a case of hooking in and clicking into place. You will also receive a pin for an other country. If you don't need this, simply pop it back in the box. And then the other thing we get in the box is an RJ45 or ethernet cable. If you, as I just mentioned previously, want to connect your repeater to a device by wire. So now that we know what we get in the box, how do we connect it to our Fritz box? Let's go through that now. So we've got the Fritz box 7530, and we've also got the Fritz repeater 3000. But how do we connect the two? Well, we simply take the Fritz repeater, plug the power cable into the port on the bottom, as we saw before, like so, and then we wait for the repeater to power up. Now, as we can see, we had a little flash from the Wi-Fi light, and the connect light is now flashing. As it's flashing green, this now means that it's ready to connect. The first thing you want to do on your Fritzbox router is press the connect WPS button, like so, and you should see the lights flashing. What you then want to do is press the connect button on your repeater. And what this is now doing is the two are gonna purr. This may take a little bit of time Please be patient. You'll know that it's connected as this light here will go green. If we look at the front of the repeater, we can now see that the Wi-Fi symbol is lit green. This tells us that the repeater is now paired with the Fritz box itself. If you want to relocate your repeater, you will need to repeat this purring steps. Otherwise, you now have repeated Wi-Fi between the two devices. If you want to connect a wired device to the repeater, simply turn it around and get your RJ45 or ethernet cable and plug it into one of the two ports. And you can connect that into your device of choice, be it a laptop, computer, TV or games console. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, do please click on that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please click on that subscribe button. But until next time, thank you very much.